Melissa here from Creative Memories Home Office. And today we are going to show you how to create a border for your scrapbooking pages using the decorative trimmer. We are going to use five patterns from the Sorbet collection. First, we are going to start with the orange patterned paper and insert that into the decorative trimmer. We will make our first cut to achieve the wave. Once we have that wave cut, then we will slide it over to the one half inch mark. We will make another cut and use this for our border. Next, we will take the colorful patterned paper and we will repeat the same steps as the orange paper, cutting along the wave and then sliding it over to the one half inch mark and cutting again. We will repeat this step using the remainder of the paper that we have chosen. The green and blue sponged-like paper, the green patterned paper, and the blue diamond paper. When you are done, you should have five waves cut using the decorative trimmer. Next, we will take a piece of cloud cardstock. Now we are going to take the previously cut waves and the repositionable adhesive and adhere them to the cardstock. When we are adhering these waves to the cardstock, we will leave a small 1 8 inch space in between each wave. You will adhere the rest of the waves along the cardstock. Once you have adhered all of the borders to the cardstock, you are going to place the cardstock into the decorative trimmer and trim along the top and bottom edges of the waves. Next, we are going to use the custom cutting system squares and rectangles. We are going to use the square pattern with the red blade on the inside of the pattern. To create this square, we are using the cloud cardstock. Next, we will continue to use the square pattern and we will cut out the square from the orange patterned paper using the green blade on the inside of the pattern. We will continue using the square pattern with the pink patterned paper, cutting it out with the blue blade on the inside of the square pattern. Next, we will use our tape runner and adhere these squares on top of each other. We will add foam squares to the back of this square to adhere it to the top of the border. This square piece will be adhered at an angle. Once it is in place, you can lay out your embellishments where desired. Once you have them in place, you can adhere using either the foam squares, the repositionable adhesive, or your tape runner. are going to adhere the sticker to the top of the square using foam squares. To continue, we will add the glitter epoxy dots along the waves of the border. To 
complete this border, we are going to use the small circle stickers, adhering it along the border with foam squares. Not only is this border 100% fun, but can also be added to any of your scrapbook pages. 